Hello, everybody, and welcome to the conclusion of my uh, little Disney week that I had here on the channel. I decided to kind of do some more cheerier stuff um, in light of recent events. I needed some stuff to kind of calm the nerves. And so I decided, hey, why not go uh, back and dip more into the Disney back catalog of films, knock out the last of the original classic uh, golden era Disney films with Bambi from uh, 1942. Um, yeah, Bambi is the, uh, the fifth, uh, Disney animated film, uh, following Snow White, um, Pinocchio, Fantasia, and Dumbo, which I've all, which I have reviewed recently, and of these, um, I'll tell you where I stand so far, uh, towards the, the end of the video, so, as a film, uh, Bambi, it's based on an Austrian novel, uh, Bambi, A Life in the Forest. Um, they had to make some changes because instead of it being based in an Austrian or European forest, it was based in uh, North America. So they changed the species of deer to one that's more commonly found in uh, North America. Now, let me be clear, I'm not an outdoorsman or not an expert in specific, so I probably wouldn't have noticed. But hey, good for them for being consistent. Um, the film and the story, it's essentially a coming-of-age tale. Uh, it tells the life and story of Bambi up until he becomes an adult. Uh, Bambi is the son of the great prince of the forest. Um, and got to be honest with you, as a movie, eh, this one's okay. I think this one is fine, but it lacks some of the oomph of later Disney films. And I... I'm trying not to say that too much when it comes to comparing like the earlier Disney movies to what we got in the 90s or what we're getting now because it's like it, it's almost hard to compare. Like there's no way this can compare to something to something like Moana. Like come on now. But I'm and I'm trying to be as fair as possible. I think for a story it's, you know, it, it's pretty standard. Coming of age tales happen all the time. We see them when it revolves around humans. So, hey, why not an animal coming of age tale? And in fact, that's happened in, in uh, recent years too, sort of, with uh, life tales, with um, a dog's journey. Like they've been doing those movies and they've been telling essentially the spirit of a dog keeps being reincarnated and reborn and getting kind and always ends up back in uh, the care of this specific family. And so, that can work, but it's not one of those movies that you expect to be like a gigantic hit. It it has a specific audience. It's supposed to be kind of overly uh, sweet and stuff like that. Kind of like, you know, I think the best comparison for Bambi, it is Full House. Full House was kind of overly cute, uh, overly safe, kind of generic. It didn't really try anything risky. It didn't really, like, push the envelope. It was essentially... A basic, sweet, heartwarming, uh, TGIF type of show. And that's what Bambi is. Bambi isn't going to offend anyone. Well, I should say this. When Bambi was originally released, it did ruffle the feathers of um, hunters and outdoorsmen. They were kind of offended that, hey, why is man being portrayed as the bad guy? And to the film's credit, it does do a good job of kind of making man and the things that we do in the forest and to animals, it kind of does make it seem like a horror story. And I think that for me, if you were to get the perspective of animals, we kind of would be the villains. We would be the scary people because we come into the forest, we hunt them, trap them, do all types of stuff. So for a movie to kind of have man as the threat, I give it credit in that extent. Like, people, we can be assholes to animals a lot. We can be assholes to each other, too. But So the, the hunting community, they were really against the movie and honest. And really, when looking at the initial uh, reviews on the... Uh, when, when looking up stuff about the movie, the reception initially was mixed because... Like I said, it's not, it doesn't have the, the oomph that some other Disney movies have. It's essentially... It's probably the most grounded in reality Disney movie, which is kind of weird to say. Um, like Disney, you, there's usually an element of magic. There's usually an element of wonder. And that wasn't present in this one. And it's the only one of the original five that doesn't have something kind of odd or unusual or magical about it. 
With Dumbo, you know, Dumbo's an elephant that can fly. That's kind of magical. With Pinocchio, he's a puppet that was brought to life by a fairy. That's magical. With Snow White, there's all types of magic stuff in there. And with Fantasia, it, you know, you have, you know, bits of it being kind of wondrous and the Sorcerer's Apprentice. That's fanciful. That's has magic in it. But besides the whole talking animals thing, nothing really about Bambi is magic. And honestly, the, the big moment where Bambi's mom dies, I'm going to be honest with you, didn't really, uh, didn't really hit. Like, there's been way more impactful Disney deaths. Like, Disney, they do kill people a lot, but, like, and they kill good guys a lot in the movies, too. But, like, Bambi's mama death, it didn't really, ain't really hit. Like, I'm, like, it, it's not even close to Mufasa's death. Kidding me? It's not close to how emotional you got when Moana's grandma passed away. None of, like it doesn't touch that, and it's like people were really this may get that sad, like, eh, like, eh. but if you and again, this is something that I'm, I'm trying not to be as harsh, but with these early Disney movies, with the exception of Fantasia, I think the big important, the big like draw of them is hey, look what we put on screen, like, hey, look. It's a cartoon. It's on it's on a big screen. It's on the movie. And that may be on me because I didn't grow up with the movies. I didn't like Bambi was never in rotation with me when it came to Disney movies. Lion King was in rotation. Aladdin was in rotation. Um, Cinderella got playing in, uh, in our house. Um, Oliver and Company. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. A goof, like a, a goofy movie. That was that was probably our movie. Like when we were growing up, that me and my cousins, like we popped that on. Goofy movie was was one of our movies, and and Bambi was just never it. You know, like of the classic Disney movies, the one I've seen the most is Snow White. And I'm gonna be honest with you, in reviewing this set of Disney movies from this specific era. I kind of don't want to see any of them again. Fantasia, to me, is the best of the classic five Disney movies. Um, it has the most engaging stuff to look at, and then there's the music. Um, it's a really, it's really well done, but there's no like plot or story to it. It's just those musical segments, and to me, that's that's been the most engaging stuff. That's the stuff that I paid the most attention to, the most focus. Like I look like Fantasia. If I were to watch another Disney movie of this set again, maybe it'd be that. But I really don't need to see any of them again. And so for me, for the classic uh, golden era, golden age Disney movies, I would say Fantasia's been the best one, followed by Snow White. Um, I think Snow White, you know, um, I, I like the I like the dwarves, they're, they're cool. Um, the, the dwarves are cool. Um, I think the moment the first moment when we see the witch and she like introduces herself to Snow White when the queen transforms into the witch and like appears in the door. I think that that's a legitimate kind of scary moment where she's just kind of overhanging the door and is just peeking in through the peeking in through the window and stuff. I think that's a, a legit scary moment. And I think, you know, that overall the story, it's the it's an easy one to digest. It's an easy one to kind of sit through and that's the one if i were ever like babysitting one of my nieces or my well, actually not even my nieces because my my oldest niece is 16 and the other one's about to be 10 in a couple months so if ever like one of my little uh cousins was around maybe i pop snow white on like that's probably the the only one that i would consider popping on um then i would say bambi's number three even though i think it's the most kind of basic one and kind of down to earth one. I think it's a better made movie than Dumbo, a better made movie than uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio and Dumbo are both kind of boring to me. And uh, I would say, uh, I don't know which is worse, Pinocchio or, du Pinocchio or Dumbo. I think both of them are pretty, are pretty boring. I think they're both pretty generic, basic movies. And I'd say, gun to my head, I'd probably say Dumbo's a little bit better than Pinocchio, but it's only because it's shorter. That's probably the only reason why I'd say that. It's it's an easier movie for me to just sit down and knock out. So, yeah, 
Pinocchio's to me, it's the the one that's the least engaging, the one that I'm I have no desire to ever watch again. So, yeah, for me, it'd be Fantasia, Snow White, Bambi, Dumbo, and Pinocchio. But all five of these movies. Disney would improve, and when I next dip into the Disney animation, I'm going to skip ahead. See, um, Bambi was in 1942. I'm going to skip ahead eight years to 1950 with an all-time classic. To me, it is one of the best Disney movies, even after, you know, decades, even after well over 50 years. No, it'd be 70 years. Jesus. Let me math real quick. Yeah, even after 70 years, I still think Cinderella, the next Disney movie, uh, cartoon movie that I'm going to do, I think that's still one of the the better Disney princess-centered movies. And so that'll be the next Disney movie that I um, take a look at. But I'm going to take a break from the Disney stuff for a bit, dip back into some other genres, and, oh, might as well uh, let you know, preview for this coming Friday. Uh, So, because this coming Friday is a very important holiday, it is Juneteenth. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, I'm going to have a short video kind of explaining it, going over it. And um, I'll have a special movie review that's coming up on Friday. It will be of Hidden Figures from 2017. So, be on the lookout for my Juneteenth video, kind of the explanation and be on the lookout for my video about uh, the review of Hidden Figures. In the meantime, make sure you're treating each other well. Make sure you are taking care of yourself. Don't be mean to each other. Be as kind, be as wholesome, and treat each other with respect. Uh, Make sure to, now that I got that out the way, like, share, subscribe. Do all the other stuff for the channel. Uh, Let your people know. Um, Support me. Let me know what your favorite uh, classic era Disney movie that you like. Um, Let me know what your favorite nature documentary is because Bambi's basically a nature documentary. So, till next time, catch you guys later. Peace.